Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add chamfer to your drawing with the dimension, not the note. Because sometimes I've seen, um, and I, I used to do this, sometimes when I want to add my chamfer note, I would just click note and click the edge that I want to add the chamfer to and type everything in. And this is the wrong way to add your chamfer. The, the reason why you don't want to do it this way is because when you update your chamfer size on the part file, you always want it to update in the drawing. So the best way to add a chamfer on the drawing is you come down to your smart dimension, the drop down, and you want to select the chamfer dimension. And the trick here is the chamfer is going to the chamfer arrow is going to be pointing to this edge. So that's why you select you must select this edge first. So if I select this edge and this edge, right? It gives me that chamfer 0 0.05 by 45 pointing to that edge. So let's try it now. Let me try let's try the same thing. But this time, this time I'll select this line first and you'll see what will happen. So, so I select this line and select that edge. As you can see, my chamfer node is pointing to that line. And it's giving me point, point 0.636. So you don't want that. The edge, the edge that the chamfer is going to be arrow, the chamfer arrow is going to be pointing to, that's the one you want to select for. So again, I just do for a lax example, select this edge and select that line. And as you can see, 0 0.05 by 45. Anyway, thank you. That's how you add chamfer to your drawing. I know I did this for a long time where I was adding it with the note. Thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.